Liquid going back to that same duo lane. The lane dominant Lucian Sona should have priority over Sivir plus yeah. Karma. For right now. And no yeah. one has shown. And look, he's going to be going. Oh, if Team Liquid was a little bit more patient, they could have really done it at this point in the game. No one has items. Huey, though, out of mana. Creative spells. Here comes Dardock. A nice flash by Huey, but now the chase coming in for Dardock, but he's going to run out of health really rapidly. Looking for the dive once again, and now Smith, he's going to turn around back onto Dardock. Gets the first blood, and the over-aggressive dive does get punished catastrophically fell apart. Smithy is still here. lolo has got to be careful, taking some damage, but Darshan, nice pillar, keeps him in aggro range, makes him flash away, and now Dardock is here for the knockup, and looks like it's all been turned around right away. They did not expect Phoenix to make the roam, but he did so. And that's how they got everything they did. Proper play by them. The flash play, who he dodges away, but the pillar is there. Looking for the knockup, looking for more damage, but suddenly Aphromoo is here, and Dardock's knocked into the turret. He's out of health. There's another kill for Smithy. Liquid cannot buy a gank mid lane. And Liquid is so impressive. X Smithy is well there for yet another counter gank. And with the Cassio pick, they're looking for those counter plays. But X Smithy again overreached in the top lane. We've seen and this there's before. The CC out of Matt. The same play is on repeat. Did we hit rewind or what? Darshan now running. Lorlo, of course, has plenty of damage. Phoenix is in, lands the haste. Couple of twin fangs, couple of kills picked up. Thanks very much. Liquid up three to two. As history repeats itself. Oh my good. Fabi up as well. Nick Smithy waiting in the wings. Nice slow in for Phoenix. Look at the trade damage coming across, but suddenly four people from Liquid are around. Darda getting the flash on Burrow. Smithy on the wrong side of this fight. Suddenly it's five. There's nowhere for Smithy to go. He's going to get taken down. Fabi gets the kill. Four, two for Liquid. 1,000. Yeah, six minions left on six so it's a temporary thing. After running away, though, low on health. Has to flash. The chase is in. One more hit will do it, and that's going to be the kill picked up. Darda smites him down. And a nice cue to break the spell shield. Barely... Team Liquid is looking to make a play up there. Get spotted by Ward. This map is Darshan better. trading into the minion wave, though. This seems a bit greedy by him. Can he get away from Lorlo? Does he even want to, actually? Trundle's out of mana, so Darshan says, let's go back in on this one. I've got spells you don't. Gets a stun, gets a lot of damage across, and yeah, it's Lorlo forced to actually flash to get away. Oh. Does Darshan really have the damage? Finds another slow, but the auto attacks, I don't know if they do quite enough. Darshan really wants oh. to dive him. He's going to try and he's going to get it. The turret won't do enough damage. And Darshan was... Oh, hold on. There's a fight oh, going on. I'll yeah. tell you in a little bit. Stixley has to run away from Dardock. And he's going to get Crescendo this time around. He's gone. That one's quickly there. And now it's time for Darshan to get the flank on a mat. The teleport now coming in for Liquid's top laner as well. That's going to be Darshan dropping a double kill for Dardock. Nicely done. Two, it's a 5v3 of sorts. Dardock rooted up under turret, though. He's got aggro. He's taking a lot of damage. He's trying to run away. He's almost gone. And who he's going to trade his life for the kill. But it's Smithy now running out of HP. And now look at this. Phoenix wants it. And Aphromoo Exhaust is on. The root's going to buy him a little bit of time. And yeah, the support. So he really stopped from being able to be dove on. And now Darshan is he's dead. He's alone and sad and gone. Dardock getting himself his 3,000 gold. This is probably not the best situation. There is the pillar, and there's the flash from Aphromoo. Now the play out of the mid lane. Oh, oh wow, goodness. Phoenix on a killing free. He's actually taking- I have to replay the side of that fight, but they're Aphromoo gonna continue the to pillar. with pillars. He's dead. He is dead for that one. The pickup was there too. Trunda plays was all it took to get extra 50% extra ability power. Substantial for the next team fight. Yeah, and COD's gonna try and be opportunistic. They take the tower, now they this go for the fight. The fight, Sonolte on the two, expecting the front line. He's gonna take uh, the knockup from Dardock and get away cleanly so far. Couple of heals out from Sonolte, the re-engage, and Fabi gets caught out! But he's, yes, he's gonna go down. Who he gets the kill? It's a 5v4, Lola to chase down onto Xmithy. The trade kills back and forth, it's plus two right now. Liquid have gotten a couple of kills. Sticks and could be next up, flashing to run away. Who he getting a little bit of damage down, but COG has to run. A nice pillar means Aphromoo will be dry. Hopping on this one. That is a three for one trade advantage. Down his entire mana bar throughout that fight with yep. Auras, and that'll lead to Baron. And it's gonna mean Baron goes down, picked up. Who needs smite? Auto attack it, still managed to secure Baron. Well done. Really hard to differentiate good karma play, but it was right there. Xmith goes caught. This is the fight for it. Xmith has Garden Angel, but he has no health left. Who's gonna force to revive himself? Now CLG waiting to re-engage in this one, but they've already picked up the kill on Stixay. And now in the back line means almost nothing. The revive for Darshan. This will be two kills cleanly. Who he was never even part of the fight. He was stuck in the base re-healing and joining the team. CLG should not have been here. Liquid picks up the easy two kills in a 5v4. They're gonna get Baron. They're probably gonna win the match. Yeah, and what is CLG really gonna do? Like, Team Liquid is just balling up around Sona and just... Matt trying to keep the team healed up. They're going for the engage. They're gonna catch two with Crescendo. Darshan tanky enough though. The gravity while doing a lot. Matt's been picked off. Yes, we. Or low in the front line. Now can they get anything more? Yes, a shutdown on the Phoenix. CLG will not go quietly into the night. They're looking for the kill. They're Dakota. Nice Fabi's dead. They've gotten four plus the Guardian Angel. CLG, will they really make it the comeback? They've got five. It's time to go for the base, CLG. They might win.
It's 40 minutes into the game, Freak, from pulling victory They're from the jaws out. They're still down 8,000 gold. It was They're a, still down four Drake buffs. It was a five for zero ace. Stixie got ricochets on the entire team because when Team Liquid went for the big fight, they didn't get Stixie. They're going to win the series. 25 seconds on the respawn. Matt's gonna be up first. The minion wave, there's a couple left. So here comes the play for the Nexus turrets themselves. No, they Matt win. Matt is alive. There's no chance they're gonna jump onto him, but it should be enough. Would you believe it? They were losing the whole time. And Counter Logic Gaming takes down Liquid in the match of the week. Un